Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Paul from Paul's Cots. I uh, just wanted to make another quick little video. Uh, it's Sunday, uh, so I figured, you know, might as well just film some of the stuff we did over the weekend. And, you know, a lot of the heads that we do are this head here, which is that the 399 14cc chamber head. It's one of the most, you know, universal heads we sell. Has all of the best features um, for like 90% of the builds. If you have a Predator 212 72 millimeter bore, we even use this on some of the three inch heads, some of the three inch builds with the uh, uh, Gorilla Cam, having great results. Um, this head right here is so universal because of its features. Um, has the big valves, has the 14cc chamber, which gives you that boost and compression ratio that we all need. Um, the seats are cut, and these are strong seats. These aren't just standard seats. These are custom seats that we have made for us. Uh, they don't touch, so there's no weak point in between. These seats can't fall out. Um, it's been ported, has the great porting. I mean, this porting is just unbelievable in these so nice you can get a look down both of them there intake and exhaust really nice porting uh, bronze guides this has the uh, bronze guides with the head on them. Uh, the head prevents uh, fall through. It also um, locates the inner spring on the dual coil springs. Um, and uh, gives a little bit more stability to the valve guide, especially when you get in there and you get some big ports. Um, this area can get really thin and when it gets hot, it can distort. So having a little bit more meat basically like setting up a tripod um, having a little bit more uh, material there for just to sit the guide on uh, gives a little bit better stability um, bronze guides those are Ferreira bronze guides really nice guides guide materials from Argentina high quality bronze uh, we then take the guides um, before we even install them we size them cut them to size uh, we shape them, uh, we bullet shape the intake and uh, put a radius corner on the exhaust. Um, then we install the guides and we ream them and hone them uh, to size for the valve. Um, what else do we do? We, uh, we port the intake, we port the exhaust, polish the exhaust, uh, we radius Cut the chamber. There's another one here I could just use to show you. We radius cut the chamber. As you can see, this radius cut. Uh, how that helps is, you know, when you're speeding up the air through the port, you're trying to uh, keep the Venturi effect or that, you know, uh, 14 degrees per side, 28 degrees inclusive, that Venturi effect through um, the port, which is constantly speeding up the airspeed. You want to a very high airspeed in the port and you want the highest point of airspeed to be at that valve seat I've heard guys talk about it we tested it it's hundred percent true been doing it for a while now about a year since we came out with the gen 3 porting creating getting getting all that airspeed to the highest points of the valve seat uh, basically what you're doing with velocity is you're trading um, pressure for flow so CFM and velocity um, when you increase the velocity, you're actually decreasing the pressure. It sounds so crazy because every time I hear that, I'm just thinking of like a pressure washer and how much pressure comes out of that. And you could just you know it's high velocity. But fluid dynamics and uh, air dynamics are different. If you look it up, as velocity increases, pressure decreases. So... Um, what you're trying to do in the port when you uh, increase that velocity is you're basically trying to give a pressure change to the charge 
right at the seat. So if you can exchange the velocity for pressure right at the seat, um, the shape after the seat with that radius cut, what that does is actually helps maintain the velocity instead of it just dumping out. I got even a third head here, but this one doesn't have the uh, chamber polished. Um, if, if, say, you didn't have this radius cut here and it was just flush with the chamber, as the seat opens, as the valve comes off the seat, the air would just come right out and tumble. When it has this radius shape here, it maintains the velocity around the valve. Uh, so you're actually maintaining the velocity in through the port, around the seat, and a little bit more around the valve. So as it exits the chamber, then it can then um, do the pressure swap into the chamber, which increases the pressure inside the chamber. And that's where we like to uh, do our pressure exchanges after the valve, so that way we're actually ramming pressure into the cylinder. Um, again, we build all our heads to the math. We all know this is that sweet spot, which I talk about all the time. Um, the closer you can get to that sweet spot, the better off you're gonna be. If you can hit that number perfectly, that's where you're gonna make the most amount of power. So we like to build it to the math, use all of our velocity, um, you know, you can have two ports that flow the same amount of air, CFM rather, uh, two ports that flow the same amount of CFM, one will just make more power. That's because of the air speed in that port is better. Higher air speed equals more power. So it's not really the velocity that we're trying, it's not really the CFM number that we're trying to get. It's all about the air speed and the shape of the port and where you actually change the um, velocity for the pressure increase or do that pressure swap. Um, we like to get that right at the valve. That's where we're getting the most amount of cylinder pressure. We're building big power like that. Um, getting just tons of feedback recently. Um, we've been selling like a ton of cylinder heads. I mean, we got like, you know, a lot of these things done this weekend. A um, bunch of three inch blocks, a bunch of engine builds, um, milled pistons, valve releasing pistons, crazy weekend bunch of coils made um, we do have the coils back in stock msd boot on on some of them and others come with the ground coil uh, the ground strap and the black boot they are the hot coils and uh great product um so uh, you could check these out on the website. This is a great head for, you know, a, a multitude of engines. Uh, the biggest thing people will call, have been calling a lot lately, and saying, well, Paul, which, which head is the best for my engine? And the real answer is, is any one of them, because they're all templates. And it's not like you're just buying it from somebody else. It's just whatever it is on the site that's what you get. Our engines are templates, so... The most important thing if you're getting an engine, uh, getting a cylinder head, is to go on the site. When you select the cylinder head and add it to your cart, make sure you select, send us your specs, fill that out completely. That gives us the bore, the stroke, the cam size, the carb size, the type of vehicle, the weight of vehicle. Um, the ratio of rocker, it asks a bunch of questions, which gives us that full snapshot. And from all that information, we'll know, you know, what RPM to set it at based on the camshaft you have, because that camshaft operates in a certain window. And we'll know the bore size, we'll know the volume of the engine. We'll have, we'll know the carb size to know if everything's correct, if there's gonna be a restriction somewhere, if we need to build around that restriction. We'll have all the information, say upon like a stock repairing engine, where you'd have to build upon that restriction. But we'll have all that information to be able to best tailor the head for you. That's the head you need. It's not so much the head you pick. Um, the welded chambers are best for 212ccs and below. Like a 212, you're trying to get that 12 to 1 um, compression ratio. And you really want to run big lifts so you can make big horsepower. The welded chamber is the way to go. Um, we have sold a few of those welded chambers. I'll probably be making another video. I got another one over here sitting here. It's done. Um, what we need to do is get the 12 to 1 compression ratio. It's very easy on a 72, 72 stroker and up. 
Uh, they just, there's more engine there. It's not where you have to mill the head crazily. Uh, you just use the smaller chamber head, 14cc. There is two heads on the site under the 399 price tag, uh, which is our cheapest complete head, which is also our flagship. It sells a tons of great product. Just because it's the cheapest doesn't mean it's the weakest. This thing is an absolute monster. Um, some of the other heads are more expensive because basically the cheaper the engine, the more you have to do to the head to get power out of it. Um, if the engine's powerful, just a nice properly designed engineered cylinder head makes a ton of power. Welded chamber is usually for a smaller engine. Um, you have to do more to the cylinder head welded chamber and stuff to get the compression ratio up. Bigger the engine, you don't have to do that stuff. Keeps the price down. Uh, these heads actually do also come with the valve train. 3228 valves, uh, 37 pound red stripe springs, billet retainers and keepers, little instructions manual, tips and tricks. Sticker comes, the heads come fully stickered. Um, we are including the exhaust bolts. And uh, these things are just fantastic. I mean, the radius porting, they're just so nice, so beautiful. Everything is so well done on these. It's a very refined product. Um, this has been gone over by a true professional, gone through, um, sorted out, built for your engine, and you just can't be perfect. There is a perfect. You can't be perfect. The closer you can get to perfection, the most power you're going to make. We're trying to increase horsepower per cube once you have a certain set size engine. Whatever size engine you have, bottom end, you're trying to make that bottom end as efficient as it can be. That's increasing horsepower per cube. These heads built to your bottom end specs will give you the highest horsepower per cube possible. So check them out on the website, paulscarts.com. Um, if you want to guys want to get in contact with me, you can uh, contact me through the website. There's a button there that says contact us. If you guys want to email me, my email address is paulscarts at gmail.com. If you want to text or call, you can text or call 781-492-7358. Guys, Thank you for watching. Check out the product. It's amazing. Thank you guys for all the sales. Love, respect, all the shoutouts I've been getting on Facebook. Um, all the positive vibes I've been getting back from feedback from customers. Everything's been great. I love you guys. Everybody have a great race season. Stay fast. Stay safe. I'm Paul's Paul's Carts. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.